Hello everyone. Excuse the wet hair. Um, I just got out of the shower just a little bit ago, so get ready for church. You know how it is, so please excuse my appearance. This is the daily devotional video for May 28, 2017. Our passage for today is in the book of Hebrews chapter 5. We're reading verses 11 through 14. It says, of whom we have much to say and hard to explain since you have become dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God, and you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the, world, in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. The title for today's devotional is The Process of Sanctification. Many modern day inventions are designed to help us accomplish tasks more quickly. The microwave, for example, shortens cooking time drastically, while washing machines and computers speed up other chores. New technology has the added effect of increasing life's already fast pace, as well as our desire for instant solutions. Not every process, however, lends itself to acceleration. Consider our growth in Christ, which is known as sanctification. Being a Christian is neither an event nor a quick fix. Rather, it is a journey. There are things for us to learn along the way, and while we may unwisely choose a longer path than necessary, there really are no shortcuts. Sadly, some people grow little after salvation. They are not encouraged in their faith or, or discipled well. Others fail to pursue maturity through prayer, meditation on scripture, and fellowship. God is not pleased, but his children opt for complacency. That's why his word tells us to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, 2 Peter 3.18. Consider how spiritual development benefits believers. By learning God's ways, we can walk in obedience and live contented, purposeful lives for His glory. We also gain the ability to discern truth from distortion. Did you notice any change in your life? and character since the day you were saved? Are you able to detect spiritual growth over the last year? Your Heavenly Father wants to mature you, so make a continuous effort to cooperate with Him by reading the Bible, praying, fellowshipping, and repenting of all known sin in your life. It's just like a baby. A baby goes from drinking, you know, only milk to milk and maybe, you know, some water, you know, and then on to, like, you know, the baby foods, the puree foods, and then, you know, they get into, like, crackers and things like that, and they, and they, they grow and they mature, and they're able to, to do more and, and be more active and be more independent, and, and God says you need to do the same thing in your Christian life. And don't just stay in that baby stage where you don't really know anything, you're not really witnessing anybody, you're not reading the Bible. You need to daily spend time in His Word, in prayer, in fellowship with Him, with other believers, and and that's how you mature as a Christian. I urge all of you to do that. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys um, back here again tomorrow.